Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at neurographic art. I went on to a channel by Bethany Thiel and looked at her video neurographic art tutorial mindfulness in art and it was really interesting to get an understanding of how it first came about. So I checked out a video and took inspiration from it and I find the whole process really um, relaxing. So today what we're going to do is a bit of work in this journal. Now I've been um, uh, I've seen a few videos of this and um, I can show you some examples of what it looks like. I mean it looks different for everybody who does it but the reality is it's these shapes and then all the there's no sharp edges there's no angles it's all curved and so most people what I've seen they what I've seen them do is do the shapes first and then color in each area I don't have the patience for that so what I've been doing is doing the background I, I do the background these are backgrounds that I've had in here for a while and haven't finished them and so I've come back and like even say this one I did around the face and I've done this bit and I would have gone around the um, I like going around the the shapes with a white jelly roll pen but I've discovered it doesn't work well on the neo colors so if it's acrylic it's fine um, so I'll just show you a few that I've done already so like this one this was acrylic paint and I've um, just gone round it wasn't until I got to the face which is the neo colors that it stopped working so I couldn't do anything around the neck and there so I might need a fine brush I'll see I might not do anything with that anyway so I thought we would do one today so get a page so I'm going to do this one so get a page that you might have in your journal that may have just some you know unless you want to do it where you fill in all the others later the the shapes later with um color but um get one that's got a page already on it. I just think it looks really even more interesting because I could never have recreated this with um, um, by filling in each area. And as I say, I think the white around the inside of the rounded shapes looks quite nice. And I also like this, what seems like on purpose, but it hasn't been, having a face and incorporating the face in the whole thing. So I've still got some work to do on these, but I thought I would do this one. So get a page that you might have, and we're gonna do it together. And if I'm feeling it, I might even do this one. So as you can see, this is just, um, I'm just thinking whether it's near colors or not. It might be actually. And I've just done some shapes and circles on here. So these are ideal in terms of having a bit on top. Now what I'm using to draw the shapes, the lines, is, um, I've got India ink, it is, um, it says highly opaque, permanent, waterproof, free-flowing, free fast drying, which is ideal, and no peanut oil. It's funny how, um, anyway, I think my son's allergic to peanuts, so, um, just as well it hasn't got any peanut oil in, not that he would be, um, sipping <laughs> my India ink. Okay, so I've decanted it out. I like that word, decanter. <laughs> you should do that with wine or sherry. <laughs> anyway, and I've got a brush with um, quite a thinnish point. Okay, and I'm just going to use that. So um, I'll probably, let me think. Yeah. Okay, we'll start, we'll do it this way first. Okay, so I usually start on the pattern page first, so I'm just going to get the, um, dip my, as you can see, I'm dipping my brush and I'm just then going to draw a series of lines and just shapes on here, some curves and where it's like run out on the brush, I'll just go over it. Um, 
um, yeah so we'll just so we've got the shapes underneath and then I'm creating shapes on top and I just go until I think oh the page is full enough I mean with this one there's not you know you don't want to fill it up totally but sometimes you can get some dependent on the lines and shapes that you do you can get some nice finished results I mean you don't want the shapes to get too small um, because then it's harder to do a rounded edge okay so that's the first page done should I do that one as well? Might as well, let's just... So, yeah, this is just, it's a relaxing way to spend, say, the first part of your creative practice, if you've got one, that you, to get you into doing whatever other work you need to do. As I say, I don't want to get too many small like all, all of that. There's nothing I can do but fill that in, or this one, or even that one. See, these just get filled in, um, so you don't want to make it too small. Anyway, so I'm going to leave that as is, and as this is drying, it's a fast drying ink, so. I think I have put quite a bit on. I'm just going to go around my figure with ink. Now again, this is Neo Colors. I went through a spate of creating some images on um, using the Neo Colors, so I won't be able to use my white marker, the Jelly Roll marker. probably have to use again some ink and a fine brush okay yeah I really like this ink because as it says it is really opaque and then um, you're not gonna get you're not gonna see the stuff underneath where the lines are sometimes it can be, you know, you get it faint and you can see underneath. If that's something you want, then that's fine. If not, then it's great. So then I'm just going to extend the lines. And then come out this side. I'm going around I'm joining some of them like where here and we've got some patterning on her neck so she's gonna get the treatment as well can't see what I'm doing down there can you There, so we've kind of got three pages that are, oops, what I did yesterday was I put my um, brush in my tea. Okay, so we've got this far, and 
I'm going to just a uh, few more details here. So that and that. Okay. So I just want to rub off my brush. So I'm going to use a different brush now that's more suited for there it is. Yeah. Giving me my curved edges. And you can start any so I'm gonna start where am I gonna start? In this middle section here. And just take I uh, just, just take your time and start going round the shapes. And we can come in. And it's very therapeutic. And again, if you're somebody who um, likes colouring in. I don't always have the patience, so this way um, it feels fine. Actually, it's not that I don't have the patience, it's not that. I think it's just, I just, well, if you're not feeling it, you're not feeling it, so, you know, why do it? Just for the sake of doing it, I don't need to. Um, sorry, just charging my phone there. Um, I don't. You don't need to do it if you don't want it. So, <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to go around and start curving the edges. And this is a this is a nice brush because it's got um, finish edge, but it holds the paint well as well. So it begins.
Okay, so I'm looking to see if there's any edges left and uh, or that need rounding off. Okay, so I rub off any excess onto another page and put it in some water. Now I'm going to take my white jelly roll and see if I can go around some of these shapes. No, it's not working at all. Well, it is, but it's not as, um, what I'll probably need is one of those paint tip pens. Although, some of it's working. Okay, no, I'm just gonna leave it. But, um, yeah, so I like that. What I would then go on and do is some of my mark making, especially on the face here. So I need to just test this out if it's working. I've got so many of these white pens so after a while. Okay, so I would do say something like this. Yeah, I like that.
<coughs> now one of the other things that I might do sometimes depending on how I feel is I might I might go back and add say a pop of color in one of the spaces yes it has color but I might just add something really random so like here you see a sea of blue and I'm thinking okay I could add a darker blue um, this is Inktense pencils. So I'm just going to go in, well, this is a green, in some of the spaces and add pops of colour. That's a couple of yellows over there. So I've got yellow here, so now I'm just. bringing the three areas together. Maybe some yellow over here as well. It's not going to be as bright because we're working on near near colours on that bit. Uh, And now I'm going to go around and... So we've decorated a page that had just been neglected and we've come out with a nice piece that we can, you know, I can add journaling in some of these spaces. There you go. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I did. I enjoyed adding these, um, all of these the shapes and then filling them in. And you can always go back in and do some, what well, I do sometimes. So I've noticed there's spaces that I didn't touch. So I can go back in and if I've got a minute I can add more dots or lines. To specific spaces that may be looking sparse. There we go. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for now and I will see you soon.